Hello guys, welcome to the 21st episode of the West Bromwich Albion career mode. Well, I'm going to call it the career mode because you'll see what happens later on in this video. Anyways, so um, I left you on a little bit of a cliffhanger last episode, um, leaving off to a game against Man City. And I knew it was going to be a tough game, and to be honest, I was just going for the draw because it, it would be really hard to win. And in the 16th minute, they pick up a penalty. Now, honestly... I he he put the ball past me. It was it was definitely a deserved penalty. So Radamel Falcao steps up to take this, and um, I I normally go to the side and then dive to the right. It sometimes works. It did this in this scenario, but unfortunately he did manage it to put it right above my keeper. So in the seventeenth minute, it was actually counted for the seventeenth minute. I was thinking to myself, wow. This is going to be a very tough game. And then halftime came, and Man City weren't exactly pounding me. They had a lot of shots, don't get me wrong, but it was only one nothing. And I was, I thought I could get one back, because S-Fine is back, and it is his, his debut game back from his injury. So, yeah, we bring on some substitutions um, to try and freshen up the squad so we can maybe get a goal back. And, um, yeah, so nothing really happened from there except in the, I believe it was the 77th minute. Um, Man, Man City just wanted to make sure I didn't get my hopes up again with tying it in. Sorry, it was the 60, um, 64th minute. Anyways, we give away another penalty. That's terrible. We actually injured David Silva, but we managed to save it. I was so happy when I did that. And then, carrying on, in the 80... In the 80s, basically. The, look at all this pressure they're putting on me. I only have two defenders, and he smashes it, but my hill saves it, and I, I get it out. But they take it back, and Nazri hits that as well. But I block that, and I try and get that out and um, go on the attack. But unfortunately, Jakob cannot get past um, the midfielder. And yeah, you can see how much pressure. This was basically the whole game, to be honest. Um, they're such a good team, and Aguero basically just assures their win and yeah that's how the game ended basically two to nil and um i wasn't honestly very surprised that they won two nothing I, I i wasn't really sure what to expect because they are a very good team obviously but yeah so um couldn't do much about that anyways so we um we advance and we west ham tied man u which is great um for us because it means maybe that Man U might go down, because I, I honestly do not like Man U, to be honest. But, um, yeah. So then we, we simulate a game against Newcastle. Sorry I couldn't show you the footage of the simulation. I forgot to record until the very end. I I don't know why I simulated, to be honest. I was I guess I was just getting my hopes up a bit. And, um, yeah. So Yusuf Malumbu actually picked up a red card, and Chris Brunt injured himself. But um, that's not too much of a problem. We can obviously just use the subs available. And it's not a long injury either, so it's all good. Anyways, you can see we're sitting in sixth right now. We actually played um, more games than a few people. But um, we get a scouting report available from the England um, scout. He's not the greatest, but um, he brings us about low 80 guys, potential-wise, not um, overall-wise. But, um, yeah, he's he's not the greatest scout. Um I don't know if it was a good idea to hire him. I guess it was with the money I had. He's got me a few players, decent players. But I hired two of them in. Um, yeah. So then we jump into a simulation against Southampton. Sorry about the simulations in this episode. There are quite a few um, because I won. I, I showed quite a few sim simulations because I want to catch you guys up to where I am because it, it gets pretty exciting. And so... Um, yeah, they score in the 21st minute, and I was getting pretty worried, but s -Fine does pull one back. But, unfortunately, FIFA just wasn't on my side, and we managed to tie Southampton. I was not expecting that. I, I honestly was expecting a win, because Southampton are in, I think they're in the bottom five, at least. And, um, yeah, we tied Southampton. Woohoo. We're a top, we're a sixth place team, I believe, and we tied a, I don't know, like nineteenth place, 
it just flashed up on the screen there, but pause the video if you really want to see. Um, I'm not too bothered. Anyways, look at this guy bringing back these amazing guys. Gustav Storr, 68 overall to 90. Um, no, 68 to 94 potential. That's great. And then we released some guys because our um, new squad was getting a bit full. As you can see, we only have one uh, available position, so we free up some space. We... Um, I don't want any of the guys that are like low 70s because honestly it's not really to really um, worth it to max out their potential because they're not going to get very far. So um, yeah we also pick up Azule who actually can go up to 90 which is pretty good. And then obviously our Croatian um, scout brings back not as good of a scouting report but it was pretty good. 286 is there. And a 68, which is sort of ironic since they're basically um, backwards numbers. Anyways, so yeah, we have to release some more guys. And you can see um, Suljevic we can actually bring up, and that's the same with Vert Vertovic. And um, I'm not going to bring them up yet because I want them to be scouted a bit further, to be honest. So um, yeah, we then will... Um, just jump into a few emails before the Wigan game. The Wigan game is in this episode. Don't worry, I won't leave you on another quick um, cliffhanger. Anyways, there's lots of scouting in this episode. There's a youth squad report now. And um, you might have seen that other email, which is um, pretty interesting. But for now, we'll talk about this. So yeah, you can just see the updated reports on all these guys. Not all of them, but some of them. Yeah, like Soljevic, he might get pretty good and. um there's actually a guy called Harry Harewood, which is <laughs> a pretty weird generated name, but um, it happens, I guess. So, um, yeah, uh, not much happens there. But then the next email is the coolest email. Well, not the coolest, I guess. But, um, yeah, you can see me signing um, Verhovic. Look at this. Tottenham Hotspur wanted a manager, um, wanted me to manage them. Now, if you want me to manage them, leave it in the comments below. Obviously, I won't manage them right away because I'm um, a bit further ahead than you. So I will um, switch over because the contract offer is still available. And if and if you want me to manage a diff manage a different club, I will um, look at it because if you guys just aren't liking West Brom, I can look into another club. But honestly, what I do to them in August. It basically just builds them up. It's pretty. Um, it's pretty weird what I do to them. And so yeah, we go into simulation against Wigan. I wasn't sure what to expect from this one. And so um, yeah, kind of it gets injured in the first minute, which doesn't happen very often. But um, they actually take the lead with Disento, and from there, it just went their way, and FIFA didn't want to help me and so we tied it but then they pulled a 3-1 um, lead back sorry my brother just walked into my room there and um, we, we scored one in the 82nd but it wasn't enough anyways we are coming to a close in this episode I hope you enjoyed the episode um, leave it a like and comment on any suggestions obviously not the like for suggestions but if this gets five likes I will do a double upload today and um, yeah, so leave it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and other than that, have a good day.